so for this, let's look at the first question. For the first question, do you know what's the hedge? The hedge is something like blockings. It's, it can be like a wall, right? Yes, or some tall grass. Or mud. It, it might be some tall plants, okay? Okay. So that part, the hedge, you don't need to think so much about it. And here you have two sheep pens. Okay, sheep pens. But it's not the sheep, that is a pen. Sheep pens is a place where you keep the sheep. Yes. Do you know what a pen can be? A pen? Pencil, kind of pen. So. Okay, the pen is a, pen. a writing instrument, right? Yes, not an instrument. We call it a writing material, okay? Okay. So for this, we are given this 3x and the 2y. That together is a hundred meters. And remember, we will need to find the maximum area. Yes. And we need to find x over y. Okay. For and this, it's maximum. For this, this question. How do you will find be the area? Three x plus two y. This is. A hundred meters. <coughs> Three x plus two y is like this. First, can we find what is two y? Okay. Okay. So this is a hundred minus three x, and we'll have the y that is hundred minus three x, and here is over two, right? Right. So for this, this area, we have two y's and just only one x, right? Yes. So this is a two x y. We can sub this in, correct? Okay. So like this, we'll find the first What's derivative. The first derivative, this is a hundred minus six x, right? Yes. We we'll need to let the first derivative be zero and x, this will be hundred over six, which is hundred over six, which is fifty over three and Y will be... For this Y, we will need to sub this. So this is a 100 minus 50. Then we 50 over 2. Answer? So 25. So Y is 25, right? Yes. So for this, we found x and y, can we find the second derivative first? Okay, after that we're going to find y maximum, as you already write, and it's a negative 6. For this maximum, maximum area, can we just use this? Okay, because the back is a little bit more complicated, Can we write it like this? Okay. So, so for this, you can actually use a 2 to times this, which is a 50. And here, let me write this. So, why is there 10? This is actually 2500 zero zero over 3. Okay. Like this, okay? Now we'll find... So, x over y, x, 50 over 3, y is 25. First okay. we get 25. For 
this or this is actually 2 over 3, right? Okay. Okay, so this is for the first question. Okay, now the second question, no need to erase. So the 4x plus 3y equals 100. 3y equals 100 minus 4x. So y will equals 100 minus 4x over 3. Now we'll find the area. The area will equals So for this, you actually have two times. You have 3y and you also have an x. So this is a 3xy. Okay. 3xy. You need to write 3xy. Wait, do you have this fracture anymore? You sub the y in 3 and 3 cancel. Yes, then it will be 100x minus minus 4x squared. Now we find the first derivative. The first derivative equals 100 minus 8x. Yes, since 4 times 2. Now we will let let the first derivative be equal zero. zero. So x will equals hundred over eight. As hundred over eight will be Just write it first. Okay. Now you can simplify. So it will be a twenty-five over two. Then find y. We will sub. So this will be 50 over 3. Okay, yes, it is a 50 over 3. Now we find the second derivative. The second derivative will equals negative 8 smaller than 0. So a maximum <laughs> will be 3 times 25 over 2 <coughs> times 50, 50 over, over 3. 3. This two simplify. Cancel. Yes. Then these two simplify, right? Yes, 25. So it's actually up 25 square. Which is a 625. Now, x over y will equals for the x over, over y. Oh, why? Because you just write it down, okay? Okay. 25 over 2, then you over 50 over 3. Then you simplify. Simplify the those will be a 2, so 3 over 4. But what did you realize about these two? Oh, the, the x is the number of y, the y is the number of x. So you realize that it's quite special? Yes. Okay, so can we move on to the last, last question? question? Okay. For the last one, we'll need to use let first. Okay. First, we'll let. There are n, y, right? Yes. So n, y, then you'll need to add. How many x are there? There are n plus 1 x. But because 
that they never give what number is it. So if you just put it as C. C. But and remember, constant. C is a constant. Yes, C is a constant. Yes. So for this, there we can find what is N Y, which is C minus. This is n plus one x. Then we'll find what is y. Okay. Then this is over n, right? Okay. Next, we'll find the a real. So this is actually n x y, right? Yes. N x y. So this is constant x. x minus n plus one y. Like this? Is it correct? Uh, I think y square. This is an x because I sub the y. If you sub the y, how could it be another y? Uh, so for this, you'll find the first derivative. The first derivative will be e c minus. Correct. Like this. So now we we'll get a zero. It was a one derivative. So actually, this two bracket m plus one x. This is a c, right? Yes. So x will be c over n plus one times two. Like this, then you need to find what is y. So actually, sub this in. So this is c minus c over two, then you over n. So this is a c over two over n, which is a c over two n, right? Okay. So this is a c over two n. Is that right? Yes. Like this. Then can we find the second derivative? So this is actually a negative two bracket n plus one, which is smaller than zero. Then find the maximum area. So for this, we can just throw away sub this in, right? Okay. N times c over two bracket n plus one. Then here your times c over two n. Yes. Then you can simplify this n. So this is a c square over four bracket n plus one. Then you'll find what is x over y. Correct? Yes. So this is actually c over two bracket n plus one. And here you need to over c over two n. C and C can cancel. These two and two can cancel, right? Okay. So here, this flips up. This comes down, which is an n over n plus one. Okay. Do you understand this? Yes. Actually, you also can solve this, but then, but that is more complicated. Okay. So, are you very clear? Yes. Okay. Just take a quick look at this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so can I we stop understand. here? Okay. Can we stop here? Well, okay. Okay. So next time we'll continue. Okay. 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 And also remember, this x is actually the number of y, and the y is the number of x. Okay. So let's stop.